Do you have trouble sleeping? Do you prefer the cold glow of the screen before bed or keep the lights on late into the night? You're not helping yourself. Hey, thanks for stopping by DNews. I'm Trace, and if you're not getting enough sleep, you can probably blame electricity. It can really mess up your circadian rhythm or your sleep-wake cycle. Anthony talked about the circadian rhythm in a previous video. Go check that out. A group of nerve cells in the brain called suprachiasmatic nucleus control when you want to sleep and when you want to be awake. With regard to sleep, this part of the brain takes into account light stimulus, your mind, and your body. Then it regulates your internal sleep clock. A recent study in Current Biology followed the sleep patterns of campers who were in the wilderness for a week. After a short amount of time away from electric lights, this small group of people reverted to a circadian rhythm that matched a solar day. When it got dark, they went to sleep, and they woke up about the time the sun comes up. The study indicated that the results were consistent even if people were early birds or night owls before their camping trip. It's important to note, flashlights and personal electronic devices were not allowed. These people were only exposed to sunlight, moonlight, and firelight. We highly underestimate the human eye and its role in our sleep patterns. Aside from the rods and cones that detect light, the eye also contains retinal ganglion cells, which are sensitive to light. A number of complicated physiological processes occur right before and then during sleep. The RGCs are the cells that help trigger this whole process. If they're still sensing light, melatonin release is delayed and then you don't get sleepy. Back to the camping experiment. After a week of camping away from electrical lights, the campers' RGCs were triggered sooner, kicking off their sleep cycle two hours earlier than when they had lights. Since the introduction of the electric light, our sleep has changed a lot, where we've become more likely to keep them on as the cost of electricity has dropped. With all of that light flying around, it's no wonder we're not sleeping well. Our brains didn't evolve to live in this bright environment, y'all. It's craving darkness so that it knows when it's time to start your sleep pattern. Now think of what you do before bed. Do you check email? Do you watch TV? Do you read on a device? Device, all of these things could keep you from sleeping better. And sleep deficiency can increase your risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, depression, stroke. What do you think? Would you be willing to give up your electronic gadgets for a while just to be able to sleep better? Tell us all about it. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everybody. We're here for you. I'm Trace. See you later.